Hello, this is Lives in Sync Tarot. My name is Amber. This will be the bi-monthly reading for Gemini during the month of December from the 15th to the end of the month. This reading will be short because it still has the specific energies at the beginning of the month. Um, please reference the longer first of the month readings for added insight. I will have a link to that one that video in the description box. I do want to take time to thank you. Thank you for all the positive energy and support for my first reading. Thank you to all the people who requested private readings. I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. It really helps me along my own personal journey. All I can say is follow your destiny and the universe will definitely follow up for you. That being said, this car way over here is the overall energy of the second half of the month. This row, this first row, will be the residual energy from last month. The middle row is the third week of the month. And the last row is the fourth or last week of the month. So overall, Gemini, I see the Four of Wands and a clarifier of the Seven of Cups in reverse. And this is telling me that this is all about making the right decisions for your ideals of a happy home. The foundation that you need this is your your first step towards doing that for yourself. So as a residual energy, the first card you have is the Knight of Swords, followed by the Ten of Swords, ending with the Five of Swords. Now that could definitely be you. That is an air sign card, which is Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. I definitely feel like that's your energy. Focusing more on your thought process, your communication style, your ideal for reasoning. You're using this energy to clear up. The residual energy that happened, negative energy. You're learning from the mistakes of the past. It may seem like you're not. You're not going to get out of this. But this is just the darkness before the sun comes. Overthinking this is not going to help you. It hinders you more than helps you. You have fought... You have fought and fought and fought for this. And it feels like no one won. It feels like you overcame or proved your point. But you really didn't win. You almost feel defeated even though you won.
And now, there is a sort of delay or a restriction from you making any or having that drive. Almost feeling trapped from that fight and not being able to move on from it. I'm feeling that you stood by this for so long. And you just want to, you want something new. You want something new, but you've already kind of put this into motion and you feel like you can't, you feel like you're stuck right now and you can't go on or fix this. I'm being told to move on. So, the next row you have the Ten of Cups followed by the Eight of Cups ending with the Judgment card. So you're trying to move on from this loss that was created at the beginning of the month. But it's time for you to almost accept what happened so you can take a new direction. Into into your happy place and it's spirit is telling me that you need to rest or take some time to yourself and during this time beware of your emotions don't do anything sporadic to make you feel better and pay more attention don't drink and drive um, don't drink and drive don't don't be reckless be more cautious with yourself Take it slow. So you need to almost walk away from this situation. Take a pause to find a new perspective. Everything is okay. Everything is fine. But you need to remember to rest. Pay attention to yourself. Don't do anything crazy. And also pay close attention to your growth you can't rush this process and don't try to hold on to the past it may be different for you 
it may feel different and that may feel a little uncomfortable but let the universe and the divine turn your world around if that's what needs to be and for your last row you have the knight of pentacles the devil card which has been in every reading so far that I've done and the four of cups so this night this night is telling me that you will find a new passion and a new endeavor maybe school maybe work maybe a new business But be careful not to be worn out or take on too much responsibility just to just to change your mind or distract you from what has happened because this is a lesson to be learned you're supposed to learn something from this yeah it's going to open up a new opportunity for you a more a new secure opportunity something more secure than what you had before Yeah, and it's telling me, I'm hearing don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Feel empowered. Know that you're not going to, you're not missing anything. You're not going to miss anything. And soon you'll see this opportunity opening up at the end of the month. for you thank you spirit and don't be afraid it may come in fast and the change might make you feel uncomfortable or the wake-up call that you're going to receive But just go with the flow. Just go with the flow, Gemini, and everything will be okay. For the end of the month, I'm doing guidance cards. And this is the Daily Guidance from the Angels by Doreen Virtue. So this came flying out and it's reward yourself. Reward yourself. You've been given a lot of yourself lately and it's time for you to receive. Make the time to reward yourself in a meaningful way. This balance of giving and receiving is essential to keeping your energy, mood, and motivation at a constant high level. Because you, I feel like you have been going through some things. Something's going to hit you. But it's all for change. December is all about strong foundations, which is your overall card. It's all about 
creating a foundation to grow upon, a solid foundation. I'm just hearing treat yourself well. You deserve it. Who they are, not who you are. This situation will not make or break you. You'll come out on top. That's all I'm hearing, Gemini. But remember to reward yourself. Remember to relax. Take this time to gather your strength. And coming to yourself. This is the strength card. And it's telling me that you're a little out of sync. And this strength will take you a long way. You'll be able to hear. You'll be able to hear, hear this call for spiritual or mental growth when you let go. I'm going to end there, Gemini. Thank you, Spirit. And thank you for listening. Remember, this is a general reading. So if it didn't resonate with you or you need more insight on your situation, I will be happy to do a personal reading for you. I will have a link to my website in the description to set up a reading. While there, feel free to browse my blog. There may be something there to help you along your journey. If you did receive a message, please hit the like button on the video, share, and subscribe to the channel. I am eternally grateful for your support. Until next time, love and light.